thanks for joining us again. So before we gave you a little introduction about art and the Cosmic Connection, now what we'd like to do is really start getting our hands dirty and show you how to get started with the project. So for this project, we have picked a beautiful image of Mercury taken from the Messenger mission. And this image shows a lot of interesting features on it, circles, some blobby shapes, some straight lines, which we'll talk about in other segments. But how do you get started from this to this? Sometimes when people look at a blank piece of paper, they kind of get this blank canvas kind of feeling. How do I start? Where do I go to next? So what we like to do is look at our image and think about the composition. How do we want to address this? And personally, I think we should make this maybe a more close-up view. What do you think? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So what we're doing now is Tyler is using masking tape to crop his image. So we know exactly which portion of the image we would like to focus on. So what Tyler's going to do now is start blocking out some major shapes. Sometimes it's difficult to just start with a lot of detail. So what we recommend students to do is look at your image and look at where your major shapes are and to draw them in lightly on your page. So you can see right here is this blobby shape. And what you'll learn through the um, Art and Cosmic Connection curriculum is those blobby shapes normally relate to volcanic activity. And indeed on Mercury, this is probably a volcanic basin. You'll also see this other kind of blobby organic shape to the edge of that volcanic basin that has a lot of texture and circles on it. Circles, you'll learn, normally relates to impact features or craters. When scientists see a circular shape on a planetary image, normally that means that something has hit the surface and has left a circular feature. So now Tyler is getting in these major areas blocked out. We do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it gives you just some basic backgrounds on your page, and when you layer other pastels on top of it, you can make richer textures. Secondly, what it does for you is just gives you a basic composition to work with. Now what Tyler is doing is he's going to start adding some additional detail to his drawing. We like to recommend starting with doing your major shapes and then gradually adding more detail. So what he's doing right now is lightly sketching in where some of these major circular features which relate to impact craters are on the surface of Mercury. And then later we will give you a demo on how to actually create a impact feature. Right here, I have a wonderful finished drawing by a student, Nina. And I'd like to use this drawing to illustrate some of the concepts. The first thing she did was get this beautiful kind of maroon and gray background done, sketching out her major shapes. Then she started to add some detail of these features and this big crater feature right here. And then she did a lot of smearing to make the work really blended and atmospheric. It's a very abstracted interpretation of the surface. So this is going to wrap up this segment. What we've learned is how to take our inspiration image, block out our composition that we want to focus on. And we've blocked out some of our major shapes to just get some color on the paper so you're not so intimidated by a large sheet of white paper. And initially we did this background with a little blue and then we came back and we started drawing in some of our more prominent shapes. Next thing we'll be doing, we'll be adding a little bit more color and value to give the shapes depth. 